Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here, I'm going to be talking to you about gathering, essentially a gunner specific gathering run through the jungle. So the jungle is actually kind of a good biome for farming bones. It has probably, at least I haven't been into the late, late game yet, but you, you need bones in the early game too. So um, it's one of the best early game locations that you can gather all of these bones at and we're taking a very convoluted way to where I need to go let me do a well done stake usually I climb up at first but I didn't feel like climbing up this time so I'm taking like a longer route to where I need to go but anyway what I was saying is if you're a gunner you're going to need bones for your ammo and this location, Gather and Run, is one of the better ones to do if you need bones. So this is the area that I normally come to first, area number seven. There is one giant bone gathering location here, which is where I am now. Gathering these bones without dealing with the raptors is kind of annoying. What I would recommend you do is gather once or twice and then move. Because usually the raptors have, they do a little bit of dancing and then they will attack a specific location. And uh, if you gather once or twice, then move, then they'll generally attack the location you were and not the location you are. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But it's faster than killing them. This is a egg location that I'm gathering at right now. You'll get bones there. Some You'll get the, the bones you don't need for ammo at this location like you can see mystery bones I keep getting we we won't get the, like the small bone husks though we won't get the we won't get the things that we actually want at that location so gather as much as you want and then dip so the next location that we're going to go to is let's do area number six this has one bone location which is right here this is also the monster lair where monsters will sometimes be when the quest starts and they will come back here when wounded. It's just something to keep in mind. The next location that we're going to go to is location number eight. So location number eight has two bone locations and it's also unique in the sense that it has those cat enemies in this area and the cat enemies can be annoying, I guess, is the best word for them. They when they hit you, they have a chance, or maybe it's a guaranteed chance, I'm not sure. Uh, it might also depend on which attack they are hitting you with. Um, but when they hit you, they have a chance of stealing an item from you. And for the most part, that is not a big deal because they'll steal something generally that is, you know, replaceable. But other times they'll take uh, a charm or a talon from you if you have them on you. I can't remember. I think it might have happened to me once, or it might have never have happened, and I might be misremembering, but they have taken useful items from me before, like mega demon drugs that I feel upset when it gets stolen. So keep that in mind. And those little cats, that one that was just right next to me is the one that I'm talking about. So this location here isn't necessarily a bone location. It's kind of a miscellaneous location. I get poop here most often. And you can see this is an egg location. Now let's see. Those are all of the bone locations, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they are. Looking at the resource gathering map. So, once you have all of your bone locations, you need to figure out if you want to end it or what you want to do. You can see we still have a ton of inventory space. And we also just got paralyzed, which is lovely. So the question then becomes, what do we want to do with our inventory space? You can run around and you can gather herbs or you can gather mushrooms um, if you want. Generally, you probably don't need any of them as far as resource, as far as like crafting goes, because you can buy basically every herb from vendors in town. Every mushroom you can basically buy from vendors as well, except for like the dragon mushroom. But dragon mushrooms, I don't think you can get here anyway. So it, it comes down to what do you want? And I generally want, like, bugs are the things that I run out of most. In particular, like, god bugs I generally run out of. Because I'm always making nutrients. 
but bugs I think are at least better than mines because mining is I always have more mine m more minerals than I can ever do anything with. I'm always selling them. Here's another bug location. And another thing that would be the only reason that I would recommend you gather mushrooms or herbs in this area is because both of them can give you account items which you can then use for poker points. Gathering the bugs, the royal rhinos, I'm pretty sure, are account items. This location right here is... Oh, man. Freaking crab. This location right here, though, is a optional location. And it's also a miscellaneous location. The... There's a few different items you can get here that are worth gathering. Like, cut two scales you can get here. They're used for a few different weapons and armor. Aside from cut two scales, you can also get a few other rare crafting items there that you can't get elsewhere. And I'll show you another location where you can get some good items that you can't get elsewhere. Another thing that's in this area. Another thing that is worth mentioning is if you want to kill some enemies like this and skin their bodies, you can, you know, you can do that to fill up your inventory as well. That's probably smarter than um, filling up your inventory with a bunch of crap like this, like hot pepper, spider webs, and crap like that. It's not very useful. So over here, you can gather in the ocean and you can find things called black pearls. And they are used for some of the higher level weapons and armor. You can also get these beautiful shells, which are account items. The Everything else that you can gather from this location is more or less garbage. Like stone, complete garbage, obviously. It's one of the things you always get disappointed when you see when you're mining. So over here, this is another location with uh, that you can gather in the water. There are also mushroom and herbs along the shoreline that I just, I always skip. There's also a, uh, a, a mining location over there too, which again, I don't have, I don't even bring pick, pick axes with me most of the time. Since we capped out on beautiful shells, I figured I would drop them off. One thing that is, um, I, I want to go back to this location because if we get a black pearl, then nope, no black pearl. Gosh darn apes. Now we can drop off these again. Now let's see. We will go to area number two. I think that's the only place that we haven't visited yet that has stuff that I still want. So this is something else that you could do. You see this enemy right here? These guys are called Kelbies. Now, what makes Kelbies unique is you can gather, you can skin Kelby horns off of their body. And Kelby horns are one of the two ingredients that you need for ancient potions. And ancient potions are the, I, I guess, you can, oh man, Kelby. Ancient potions are, I guess, the best potion in the game. And I say I guess because you can only carry one of them. And they, what they do is they fully restore your health and stamina. See, we got a Kelby horn. They fully restore your health and stamina and... If I'm being honest, you don't ever really, like, you don't need to drink a potion to restore your stamina. It's just kind of, it's not needed. And people generally, when they bring potions with them, they're generally going to do um, max potions or mega potions. Because you can carry more of them at a time. So, uh, the ancient potion is good, but there's very, very few situations where you're, you know, it's like, where you want it, I guess, for lack of better words. Even though that it is good. It's, I guess, you know, it all it, it ends up being subjective. Whoever wants to bring it, they bring it. And if you want to, you know, be more selective with your inventory slots. That, I think that's a boss right there. I think that is the boss bulldrum. My kitty just got his butt whooped. And I'm going to have to get out of here because they're going to start charging at me. That uh, that really is all there is to it, though. This is my general gunner gunnery farming run. Like, after you gather the bones, it all depends on what you want next. You can go kill enemies if you want. You can go do bugs. You can gather herbs. You can do mushrooms. Or you can do mines. 
it always ends up being I end up doing what I need most second, but I do all of the, you know, the bones first. And that's really all there is to it. Hopefully uh, this video helped you guys out. Hopefully it answered your questions. If I left anything out, got anything wrong, or if you guys know a better bone gathering location than the jungle, Volcano is not bad. I don't know too much about any of the areas after that though, but let me know in the comments below if you guys know a better location or if you have a better strategy. And if I left anything out, like I said, please let me know that in the comment section too. Aside from that, I will catch you guys around in future Monster Hunter Unite videos. Peace.